He's the man that the late Haitian president had picked to be the new prime minister just two days before Jovenel Moïse was killed. And now, over two weeks since that assassination and after days of political uncertainty, Ariel Henry is officially the head of government of a Caribbean nation that's still in mourning. At a ceremony in the capital, delegates remembered their former leader with a moment's silence before the new prime minister expressed his hopes for unity and stability. L'une de mes tâches prioritaires sera de redonner à la population l'assurance que nous mettons tout en œuvre pour rétablir l'ordre et la sécurité. C'est l'un des dossiers principaux auxquels le président de la République voulait que je m'attaque. Henri now leads a cabinet of 18 ministers, five of them women, with the ministers of justice and the economy among those keeping hold of their previous portfolios. And as well as becoming prime minister, Henri will also serve as minister of social affairs and employment. The 71-year-old neurosurgeon replaces Claude Joseph, the interim head of government, who took office with the support of the army and the police following Moïse's assassination. He's now returned to his old job as Haiti's foreign minister. But the main opposition alliance, known as the Democratic and Popular Sector, has though rejected the appointment of Henri. It believes it will only add more fuel to the fire and will push the country deeper into crisis.